One. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's time for this week in real estate with Bob Zadora, the Z Team, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty here in Mountain Home. 870 405 0793 is their phone number. RetiredArkansas.net is their website. And welcome, sir. Hey, morning. Morning. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. It's, it's a chilly morning this morning. It is. It's um, good for the trees. They're starting to really, you can really see them blowing out. You know, the colors are starting to orange up and stuff. I was afraid we'd think after the rain the other day. Because I was afraid they were just going to go brown and fall. Yeah. Because a lot of them were and have been in the yard over And the still, even even over all these years, there's still a lot of people that come to this area to see the leaves drop. Oh, yeah. Take yeah. a drive over to Ponca, down down along the Buffalo, and just enjoy the environment and the scenery. Because you get those long views. You know, if you're, mm -hmm. from the, if you're from the city someplace, I mean, you're used to looking at... 50 feet. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> here, as far I, as you and, can get. And that's, and that's what I, a term that I use. Here you can stretch your eyes. Yeah. You know, you can exercise them and stretch them out there and see mm -hmm. things in the distance and be able to capture a better idea of how big is big. You know, and that, that's a great thing for here. My younger brother bought a place that's up on top of a bluff that overlooks the white. And when you go to, the, to where he's going to build his home and look out, uh, you take a look at 3,200 acres of the forest wood farm. Oh, perfect. And it's just in a big bend of the river uh -huh. and you can look kind of like your place you can look both directions and then you just have that beautiful shot of the of the forest wood farms right. and it's just amazing you can sit there and just let your imagination oh, go. oh yeah yeah and you, and, it's, and you can do it you just kind of let things drift away and it's and before long you're probably sitting in a reclining lawn chair going mm. <laughs> That could happen. A little doze, <laughs> little dozed off. No happen. dozing off for Not the Z team thing. this weekend. You guys no. were at the no. uh, Turkey Trot at yeah. Yeoville? Yeah, we were. We're at Turkey Trot. It was a great event. It's uh, it's always a fun thing to be at. We've been going for a number of years. And uh, to go and uh, meet new people, meet people that see us on here, mm -hmm. meet people that hear us on the radio, meet people that oh, I, you know see your ads at this, that, and the other thing. And you sold this house. or people, old clients that come in and stop by and say hi. Uh, it's, it's a... National Treasure event. My son Jason came down and uh, came over, and he was like, this is just so, and he's a grown man. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. This is, this is small town America. You know, and, and so a lot of people use it for family reunions and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, the vendors, uh, the different uh, bands, and they had, they had kids dancing and kids lip syncing and uh, just cool things. They had, they dropped turkeys. Uh, they were just little beanie baby turkeys, but they dropped turkeys. And uh, if you won, you got a frozen turkey and some other things. They had a bunch of door prizes, good sponsors for that. Uh, just a good event. It was the 76th annual it was. Marion County yeah. Turkey Trot. Yeah. And, and for people maybe new to the community or not have seen or know about the Turkey Trot, years ago, in years past, they used to drive a live turkey. Uh, out of an airplane, and then it was best of luck to both of you because <laughs> you may be under it trying to catch it like a pun at football, yeah. and the next thing you know, you're laying on the ground because it hits you in the head. Uh, well, they, they never did. They fly. Contrary to popular belief, they never did actually try to drop frozen turkeys. They attempted something off the roof of the courthouse, but the, they were with yeah. parachutes of some sort. Right. But because of the length, the height, the parachutes got about open about that far, and they went boom and hit the ground. Yeah. So that didn't work quite well. So now they're doing beanie babies off of drones, and that yeah. uh, apparently they was updated a, big a hit. great old tra yeah. Oh, it's a up great update of an old tradition, and uh, they still get the turkeys, and it's a lot easier to cook because you don't have to clean them or do anything else instead of walking around. But it, it always was kind of cute seeing the kids walking through the the fairground area there. With the turkey in their arms. The you live know, turkey. The, yeah, the live turkey. Because they're wild turkeys. They're not those little white ones that you, you're thinking of. You yeah. know, they're wild turkeys. Mm -hmm. Americana. Uh, hometown music? Yes. Yes, they had a couple of local bands there. They had uh, Jerry. I know Jerry Hopper pay, played uh, Friday night. Uh, they had um, some local bands, some uh, some kids dancing on the stage on the stage, uh, to little production numbers, and people lip syncing, and uh, just... Fun. Just a good time. Just fun, yeah. This the weather is, was spectacular. This is not Mayberry, but pretty darn close. Yeah, for, for those two days, it is. Yeah. yeah their deputies get two bullets. <laughs> <laughs> and, and deputies walk around, they're saying hi, and then it's not like, hey, get off of there and put that down or anything else. I mean, they're, they're actually part of the community, which is a great, great thing as well. 
any idea hard to tell probably shouldn't even ask the question any idea to know newcomers first timers that have come to something like that oh there were quite a few and uh, we had we we had our boot there for century 21 and for the z team and we were right next to three boots for the Repu american county republican party which were members of and uh i had set up a thing a couple of years ago for straw polls i took uh, court paint cans and built a little rack and put them in there and so you put the, the candidate's picture and we got straws and you put them a put them in there you to break the straw poll. Right. so this year what we did is they got three colors so they had blue uh, yellow and, and brown so for people of marion county you got a brown one and put it in there if you were from arkansas and were visiting you got one of the other colors and sure. if you were from another state and you were here like vacation checking the area out you got a third color and there was a number of arkansas people people that come here from throughout arkansas and a number of people that were here visiting that had come heard about the event in one form or another and come for that so there was a lot of people that were you know hadn't hadn't assimilated yet uh, and were coming down to see if this that's what they wanted to do and Good, uh, it, it was actually a pretty good gauge to see how many people. And that's amazing that it, it has such a great turnout because the week prior to that was Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue up in right. Northwest Arkansas, right. uh, which I know brought people this way. Um, 30,000 motorcycles out here? Yeah, something over like in that, that area. Yeah, that's a pretty big area. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty big thing. But on their tours, they would, they would take a two or three hour ride. Right. And they would go to I know a group of them that went down to Buffalo City mm -hmm. and come back through, caught lunch in Norfolk and blah, 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 and, and they went back. You know, so they made a day of it, a day tour, sure. uh, come in this direction. So all these little festivals and events that we have, they don't have to be right here for us to feel the effect of them. Oh, that's great. Uh, they can be that's anywhere right, within 200 miles. Sure. And for something like that, for those guys that drive something like that, that's just, you know, an afternoon you know, to just let's go. Yeah, the more, the further it is, the funner it is. Yeah, and coming yeah. and over we here, we got great roads. I you mean, know, take a drive down Push Mountain and hit all those motorcycle yeah. curves, and they just love sure. them. Sure, and, and, and the, our roads are so. People who live here may not think so, but if, you, if you've been out of the state at all, we our roads are like glass compared to many other places. And if you're on a bike and you're going from state to state, you these roads here are great, and you can and it's pretty. People are friendly. Life is good. This portion of this week in real estate has been brought to you by the, by the tourism chamber. commission. Yeah, tourism, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's but it's but it is the truth. I mean, that's that's what we have. It, it and it's a daily, that's, and that's what we that's what we sell. You can buy three bedrooms, two baths, in a lot of places, but you can't buy what we have here. Right. In those places. Right. That's that's really the deal when we talk about quality of life and all the things we talk about all the time. Yeah, you're buying a home here, but you're buying a way of life that you're not used to wherever you are That's today. right, that's right. And, and you gotta decide, is this what we wanna do or not? And we get people that say, not really what we want. It's a big country, you know? There's a lot of places that you can, you can choose to go to. But for those that, are, that can make that jump to be here, life is good. Yeah, if you're looking for a grocery store, a Target, and a Walmart on every corner, this is probably not the yeah, place right, for you. Exactly, exactly. But it's not that far. Right. You jump in the car and you you know you go for an hour drive, and it's not like you're going for an hour drive in any of the big cities where you're get you've gone for an hour drive, but you've only gone 15 miles. Right. You know, you can make some real time here. That's why we talk generally time with people more than uh, mm -hmm. miles. Because if you told them, well, you got to go. What, what's Branson? Forty-five miles. Well, a little more than that. Yeah, they go. I ain't going there. Yeah, I'm not driving eighty yeah, miles. I'm not store. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's take a look at some numbers. But once you do, you go. Oh, oh yeah, that wasn't too this bad. Wasn't bad oh, at all. Andy's is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> worth the drive. That's right. This week in real estate, there were forty-two new listings came on the market. Five commercial properties, twelve parcels of land, twenty-five homes came on the market, ranging in price from seventy-four thousand to four hundred ninety-six thousand. Three of those are taken backups. Uh, there were forty-one sales. A commercial property, 11 parcels of land, 29 homes sold. They range in price from $40,000 to $995,000. Average sale price this week was $257,000 with 78 days on market. 
7.4 million in residential real estate closed this past week. 10 properties expired. 25 had price changes. And, you know, we talk about that. We're seeing more of that, just getting more real, realistic expectations of the market. Um, currently, there's 259 homes on the MLS, which I think is the same number as it was last week. Um, this year, there's been 975 homes have sold for $216 million. The average sale price of 221 with 80 days on market. Uh, last year, there had been 1,053 homes that sold for $210 million. The average sale price last year was 199000 with 89 days on market. Prices are going up from last year. Days on market are coming down because we took the big crunch going into the end of the year. I mean, it never really slowed down for the fall. Um, but the market's still active. I was out with people, two different couples this week. Linda was out with a couple. Darlene was out with people over the last weekend. Um, people are still coming. They want to they be here. People from Texas, people from Illinois, people from Louisiana. You know, come on down. I think that we'll see a push from Florida. Not all of them, obviously, but sure. I think that there's a Some lot of people. Some people just won't when want to There's rebuild. people that just aren't going to go through this again, mm -hmm. right? And they, they get to that stage of their life. You know, we talk about downsizing. This They're like, you know, this was a good idea, but it's not a good idea. I'm not going to go through this again. Mm -hmm. And the cost is going to be, you know, they're going to get a check for whatever the house is. Is that going to cover the expenses, you know, the rate of inflation and the material? Insurance is going to go mm -hmm. if you can get it. If you that's going to be the big part of it, you yeah. know. So now you're going to take a chance. You're going to rebuild. Is this the year? Is next year? Is it five years? Is it, you know, when is it? They didn't have 100 years. They didn't have a tornado or hurricane come in on that side in that area over right. there where it came in. Very seldom do you hear that. So they got. I think they just get kind of lackadaisical and some of those islands. I got a guy who lives on an island right behind Sanibel Island, Pine Island, it's called, and uh, I mean they just got crushed. And, and all of his neighbors. I mean, the whole island is just they're waiting for FEMA and everybody else. And if you're looking for a place to go, this is a good place to come. Well, oh, it is. And I think that we'll see some of that coming here. I think people, the, the quality of life issues will be enough to, and we're not, you know, we don't get that bad. I tell people we get three and a half seasons. Yeah. You know, we get a nice summer, we get a nice spring, we get a nice fall. We get a little winter crammed in the middle, but it's not like winter, winter. Yeah. It's going to be cold. Yeah. Not, there's not going to be yeah. a lot of snow. Yeah. Watch this year. We'll get 10 feet. That's Probably not. I mean, we'd have to work to get that, but it, yeah. we're just we're blessed in a lot of ways. You know, we spent a lot of time in the first segment talking about turkey trot and the bikes, blues, and barbecue. And, you know, people need to know that there's more to life than the hustle and bustle sitting in a car going. You know, you may complain about driving from here to Branson to maybe go shopping. But if you live in the suburbs of Chicago and have to get on the interstate or the expressway to go to work, you're spending the same amount of time oh, yeah. daily in that traffic sure. to get somewhere you really don't want to be. <laughs> well, that's, that's the other part of it. You're going to a place you really don't want to go. Whereas here, if you go up to Branson, there's like, oh, this is pretty cool. You know, go up, walk the landing a little bit, go to a new restaurant. Even if you just go to uh, Eureka Springs. We'll, you know, we'll blow up there for lunch, and you, mm -hmm. you could go to Fayetteville. There's so many places that you can go, and it's just a little day trip. And, and then when you're done, you come back, you get back in the home, and you exactly. just relax, and you breathe, and go, man, that was a nice day. It was a nice day. It was a nice Linda day. Linda posted a little thing, and now with the, with the weather changing, uh, uh, if you want to take a really nice drive, drive to Mountain View mm -hmm. and go through yeah. that national go forest. Through there. I'd mm -hmm. give it maybe another week and go through those forests and stuff. Uh, we took the Jeep, and we had taken the top off. And it was just great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you take those days and you enjoy them, and, and you look forward to things. This weekend will be a good weekend for that. Yeah. yeah. How do we get you? Give my honey a call. She's at 870-405-0793. Check out the website, retiredtoarkansas.net. Uh, we're over at the, our, our desk or at the main office. We work out of there. Uh, across the street from McDonald's at 1024 Highway 62 East. And we, but if you go there, ask for the Z team. If you call, ask for the Z team and call my honey, 870-405-0793. That's been This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zador. We appreciate you joining us each and every week. Have a good Me week. Too. We'll uh, be back with Football Friday. Football. Here in just a moment. Go Bombers. <laughs>